A new pipe organ was included in our recent capital campaign. To help you understand the organ project, the committee has put together this video to answer some questions you might have. A pipe organ is a large and complex instrument that is made up of tens of thousands of parts. Most people only see the console where the musician plays. And sometimes you see some pipes on the outside. The original organ was installed in the late 1940s, but this is the console. This is what is played. An organ is considered the pipes and all of the wind chests and all the working parts of the organ. This is not the original console. The original console was taken and bartered away for some work, probably in the 1980s. This is a replacement console. When some work was done, many of the pipes are gone. The company took many of the pipes, some of the best pipes from the organ. For example, there was a beautiful oboe on the organ, and there are no oboe pipes. They have been replaced with trumpet pipes, so they sound very harsh. And sometimes keys play, and sometimes they don't. Then there are keys that play all by themselves. If I push a stop, there, you should hear some sounds. But when I push this stop, it plays by itself. And that note just keeps playing. The most important stops on an organ are the principles. Another one is called the diapason. It's a very important stop. I will play the diapason. Sometimes it plays, sometimes it doesn't. You noticed it took a long time to get that sound out. That is the most important sound of an organ. That is the diapason, the principle. There is no sound at all except air. There is no principle. All those pipes are gone or dysfunctional. We have flutes, and again you hear air, but no flute. Those are the biggest problems with our organ, is that pipes are gone or badly, badly damaged. We have tried to get uh, the pipes fixed over the years. I've contacted many companies, but the problem is the chambers up above us where the pipes are, are so small, our pipes are too, it's too hard to get at them, to repair them. We do not want to rebuild it in the same manner because 10 years from now, we will have the same problems and not be able to do repairs. A good organ lasts hundreds of years if it's well maintained and it does not take a lot to maintain it. It just needs to be accessible. Many people have asked, is it really good stewardship to buy such an expensive instrument? A well-built pipe organ can last over 100 years when properly maintained. There are pipe organs in Europe that are over 200 years old. Studies have shown that over the long term, a pipe organ is actually less expensive than an electronic organ because electronic organs have much shorter life expectancies. Each instrument is unique. Rather than being mass produced on an assembly line, the new organ will be custom built expressly for St. Giles. It will take dozens of craftsmen, thousands of hours, 
to produce a masterpiece.